uh, well, we are we are in Madrid, in a in a small village near Madrid uh, called Galapagar, and uh, here is where I built my own uh, little world, and uh, I came here about yeah, six years ago, so I start building everything from uh, zero, and it was. Uh, you know, probably one of my best experiences in my whole life because yeah, everything here is as I want to be. It's, uh, it is better than exhibiting a tree in, in an exhibition because well, uh, uh, here uh, I can uh, express and display uh, my way of understanding uh, bonsai. So my first idea when I uh, moved to here and decided to build uh, this garden is to create a space for everybody to enjoy bonsai. So that means that everybody's welcome here. So uh, doors are open to everybody who wants to, to spend uh, some time here enjoying bonsai in a relaxing atmosphere. This is uh, one of my favorite uh, trees here in, in the garden. Uh, it's uh, a rock planting uh, that uh, well, I, I create from uh, the very beginning. Uh, but well, that was maybe three years ago. So the development of the composition has been quite uh, fast. So it's uh, it's uh, I found it very interesting. Uh, well, because uh, it, for me it have uh, everything, have a nice uh, tree, but also all the elements of the composition uh, are in good uh, condition, and uh, I like the cave effect, and uh, have many details to to discover when we are when uh, you are watching to it. So it's very nice when you walk around and see and uh, I like that. <laughs> This is a, a wild uh, olive and uh, it was created from the very beginning because uh, uh, the, the olives are collected just with the trunk, with no branches at all. So the, the whole foliage was uh, built from uh, zero and uh, well, I'm, it's, uh, the, the style is quite unusual because well, as everybody knows the bonsai shape is like a triangle but this triangle is quite irregular and uh, so the tree have a lot of a lot of movement in the trunk but also the triangle is broken and there is a, a branch behind the main branch to create a different tension so probably this tree is uh, closer to the Taiwanese style more than than Japanese 
but well, also the pot is uh, Chinese, you know, kawatari, and uh, well, I'm uh, I feel uh, happy with the tree. It's something uh, new for me. It's not the, the same shape, and uh, I lot I, I like a lot. <laughs> I love it. This is a tree that I have in my personal collection. This is another tree from my personal collection and uh, it's a uh, taxus, uh, small size and uh, I've been cultivating it for, for quite a few years but um, with uh, no reason the tree was a little bit uh, forgotten uh, in my collection and, uh, and even knowing that the tree is uh, very good but well, something, some, some, sometimes th that kind of things happen. But uh, I, I cooperate, we recover it, and um, and uh, well now the the I'm, I'm creating the the parts and uh, and uh, I'm I'm planning to report it to this uh, old uh, Uday pot and uh, this just uh, for training. So the quality of the of the dead wood is amazing. So really something uh, difficult to to find in a in a taxi so just just a few of them have these uh, cracks here and, and the empty uh, trunk so very nice tree very nice movement nice size so probably and soon wonderful pot also <laughs> so i love it <laughs> Uh, well, th this is uh, my well, the tree that people associate with me. Uh, it's a very well-known Scots uh, pine, Pinus silvestris, and uh, well, it uh, has been with me for about uh, 12 years. It's not so long, but not so bad for Europe. And uh, well, it's. Uh, it's a special tree. Uh, I don't think we have in Europe many uh, silvestris with uh, in, in that style, like a big kengai with uh, that amount of uh, twigs and and buds. And uh, well, it's it's a lovely tree. I I I bought it to a, a, a student in our workshop. And uh, well, I, I we we made the, the work on on this area, but uh, we we ha hadn't time to work on the apex. So uh, after two year, two years asking to him for the tree, he finally decided to sell it to me because he don't know how to solve the the apex. He he, he didn't know how to do it. So finally, I could get it, and uh, well. And, uh, that was 12 years ago.
this is uh, another of my favorite uh, bonsai here in my garden. Uh, it is uh, for me it, it have the the spirit of the uh, Pinus silvestri we have uh, here in the in the mountains uh, that I visit in the, in the Madrid uh, mountains and um, I like a lot the, the line of the of the branches uh, they are like drawings and uh, they are not uh, the regular branches but is, they are like going here and then going there but uh, flowing and very very free style but uh, this is what I really like very very natural also the tapering of the trunk I, I like a lot and uh, yeah again it's something about uh, feelings so when uh, when I am I'm, I'm uh, uh, watching a tree I I'm not uh, watching only with my eyes and uh, and brain but uh, I just uh, listen my my feelings uh, maybe it could be something something's wrong on that tree for instance, the secondary trunk that is longer than the main trunk. But uh, if I listen to my feeling, it's perfect. <laughs>